aim of the experiment to determine the resistance per unit of a given wire the principle of the experiment is ohm's law according to ohm's law the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its end provided that the physical condition remains same the physical conditions are such as temperature pressure the formula is given by v is equal to ri where r is the resistance i is the current flowing through the conductor if you want to find slope we have to know m is equal to ab by bc the circuit diagram and the nature of graph is as given the graph is a linear now about the instruments which we are using now the first ammeter ammeter is a device which measures the current in a circuit ammeter has two terminals positive and negative now the least count of ammeter in ammeter you can see from 0 to 20 it has 10 divisions 20 by 10 is equal to 2 milliampere means we can say one division is equal to 2 milliampere and five division is equal to 10 milliampere now voltmeter is a device which is used to measure the potential difference or voltage between two points of an electric circuit it is also have two terminals that is positive and negative now the least count of voltmeter we can see that total divisions from 0 to 0.2 are 10 So 0.2 divided by 10 is equal to 0.02 volt. One division value is 0.02 volt. So we can say that for 0.1 volt we require five divisions. Now the other instruments are battery, a resistance wire which has a length of one meter, and the variable rheostat. From the rheostat we can vary the voltage and current. The arrangement of the instrument according to the circuit diagram. Now from battery positive. to the milliampere positive meter negative to the one end of the resistor now from resistor one end to the voltmeter positive and from the voltmeter negative to the resistor another end from that resistor to the rheostat upper end next from the rheostat lower end to the key one side the another side of key is connected to the battery negative this completes the circuit now closing the key we can observe that old meter shows zero deflection and also milliampere also shows zero deflection we can say for zero voltage we have zero current now changing the voltage through rheostat to 0.2 we can observe that milliampere shows deflection at 24 now again further changing to the next point that is 0.3 we can observe that milliampere shows reading as 34 now for the next 0.4 we can observe that we get deflection at 40 now for the next 0.5 volt we can observe that the deflection is at 48 now for the next the last for 0.6 volt we get the deflection at exactly 58 we took six readings from these six readings we have to plot a graph that is voltage versus current took voltage on x axis and current on y axis for each centimeter of x axis we took voltage as 0.1 0.2 0.3 and for the current we took 10 milliampere after putting the points we have to observe that we can get three points on the straight line now joining any two points from the straight line now naming that triangle as abc now we have to find slope m is equal to ab by bc ab is equal to 10 milliampere and CB is equal to 0.1 volt. Now dividing 
10 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0 0.1 we get m is equal to 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 now the calculation resistance r is equal to 1 upon m that is 1 upon 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 is equal to 0 0.01 that is 10 raised to minus 3 is in denominator it comes in numerator that is 10 raised to plus 3 0 0.01 into 10 raised to plus 3 we can write it as 10 ohm when we multiply 0 0.01 into 1000 we get 10 ohm now resistance per unit length r by l we know that the length of the resistance wire is 1 meter so 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10 ohm per meter now the viva questions ohm's law the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the ends provided the physical condition remains constant. Now thus for the second, the formula of Ohm's law is V is equal to IR, where I is current, V is voltage, R is resistance. What is specific resistance? The resistance offered per unit length and the unit area of cross section when amount of voltage is applied is known as the specific resistance. What is the SI of potential difference? The SI of potential difference is volt. The current is measured in which unit? The unit of electric current is ampere. What is the unit of resistance? The unit of resistance is ohm. Does resistance depends on temperature? Yes. The resistance depends on temperature. As the temperature increases, the resistance increases. As the temperature decreases, the resistance decreases. What are the various sources of errors while performing the experiment? First one is the screws may be loose second one the loosely connection of the wires and the third using rheostat of high resistance now the next what is electrical conductivity it is the measure of the ability of the material to allow the electric current to pass through it next define a rheostat what is a rheostat a rheostat is a two terminal electrical device the rheostat is used to vary the voltage or current in a circuit does the potential difference across the wire varies linearly with the current? Yes, we just plotted the graph and the graph curve is linear. The potential difference across the wire linearly varies with the current. Now the last, does the resistance depend on the dimension of the conductor? Yes, it depends on the dimension of the conductor.